uh, coming to a second segment, Michael, um, obviously as a thought leader, you've been in industry for a long, long time. Um, so coming from that, you know, communications and obviously looking as a thought leader in the industry, where do you see, I'm just curious, where do you see the future of dentistry? Um, yeah, I'm just curious. Well, there'll be very, it depends on which parts we're talking about. I already said, I think we're going to have a price problem that's going to continue for some time. And the, uh, the Grattan report that was a significant report about dentistry that came out not that long ago was talking about the fact that prices have not gone up in the last five years much. Prices become a big deal for all sectors of the market. And so if that was already not good, then that's going to become a, an overriding factor all the way through for, for quite a long time. I mean, in the Great Depression, it was at least 10 years of depressed economy. So that can be that bad. So, okay, so there's going to be that price is going to be an issue. I think some dentists are going to go bust out of it. But apart from that, I think we're obviously going to see more training online. There's a lot of that. And this is a great opportunity to increase your services. That's one thing anybody can do that if you wanted to widen your clinical skills, uh, you may have more free time to be able to do that. And it doesn't necessarily cost so much money to do that. So you have an opportunity at, at relatively low, low investments and cost to and time to be able to grow your skills. So I'd be looking at lots of, there's lots of new things that people can be doing right now skill wise. And I'd be looking at that for a start. At least now you can uh, provide more services to more people. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I think that they're the two main things that I'm gonna see. Obviously there's gonna be sort of teledental type of processes going on. Yes. And uh, I did a webinar recently where I spoke for an hour about uh, wow. sort of a new model for teledentistry, which takes me too long to talk about. It's more of an interest mm -hmm. point, but I could see that there's a role for even a personal advisor, a dentist who's a personal advisor, non-practicing dentist that can help patients uh, make better treatment decisions based on the fact that we can give, get a lot of information using photography and, and, um, and scans electronically and then come up with all sorts of treatment plans. So there's a whole process there that I can see um, happening in the future. Um, and a lot of it is going to be driven again by price, but that doesn't mean to say there's no opportunities. It just means it'll be different. Um, so th there's a big, a big discussion there that's a little hard to get into right now. But um, clearly a lot of paradigms will be changed. And I, I think the biggest risk is dentists just thinking, no, everything will be normal. I don't think we've seen the worst of it yet because the government's been paying people for a while. Once all that stops, you can't expect things just to suddenly spring back to normal. So I think that would be foolish. Therefore, I am saying keep your mind very open, increase your skills, do more training, um, and just be careful about where you spend your money. <laughs> 